the usual suspects. Did you? How many times did you have to read that script before you you? kind of got it. How many I times did my agent have to ask me to read it? You know, these were two 25-year-olds, the writer and the director who hadn't done anything. And, you know, this was 1994, and I was at a point only two years after A Few Good Men where I did cross the goal line from having to audition to getting offers. And when mm -hmm. you're getting offers, which is rarefied air, you know, you get on the phone with your agent, and he says, he tells you what the projects are that yeah. are coming our way. Yeah. And he would tell me about this script. And, I, you know, so the questions would be, who wrote it? Who's directing it? Who are my co-stars? Because you're guilty through association, right? right? You want to be lifted by these entities. And he kept coming back to the usual. Well, who, who are these guys? He said, trust me, just read. So I got to page five, and I called him and said, I'm in. No matter what, I'm in. And then Brian Singer, the director, said, I want Kevin in the movie. I've promised to meet with two different actors to audition. I can't not have them come in. I want Kevin to do it, but I have to let them come in and audition. And I said to my agent, is this an offer? Or right, yeah, what's what are you the, saying? Yes, and he yeah. said, no, it is. He wants you to do the movie. But out of obligation to the agents and what have you, you know, you, it's protocol. You can't not see these people. And I said, well, I'm not going to let some age, actor come in and steal my part. Right. Tell them I'll come in and read for an offer. My agent said, yeah, no, you're not doing that. Right. You know, there's there's rules to this game right as someone who's newly at the you're getting offers yeah don't do it don't you don't go in and read exactly you right. idiot right. but i didn't want to wait so i went in and read and got the part and you got it yeah yeah and, and then you know look the movie's lightning in a bottle you needn't look at further than the fact that stephen baldwin's great in the film right to and know it, that it's a fluke and i tweet out <laughs> i tweet out his his look uh of just shooting you know uh, at the um at the lineup, that look he gives to the camera. Yes. Anytime the kicker Brandon McManus makes a kick for the Denver Broncos, like just it's McManus. It's you know McManus. What I mean? And then obviously Kaiser Soze is just a, is just a, a a mythical character that people always bring up. Yeah. So when you, you know? see the movie, it's one of the great, you know, surprise endings. But I'll tell you, when you read the script, it felt more impactful because when you're reading, you're imagining imagining this world. And your page turning, it's such a page turner as a read, that script. And when you get to that moment in the script, I'm telling you, it was more shocking than, than seeing it happen in the movie. For me, anyways, the experience. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.